Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to download RT Audio and install it on Windows 10. And so we start up Internet Explorer, do a search for RT Audio, want RT Audio Glit Hub, RT Audio Glit Hub, and then we'll download the zip file. Save. Okay, it says it's finished downloading. So we go down to the to the uh, download folder and we'll copy it into the uh, my archive folder. I replace the old version. All right, so that's it for now. Okay, now we're going to continue with the installation of the RT Audio. And so we open the zip, copy the folder to the desktop, and then copy the folder back into the archive. And then we need to start up uh, the Visual Studio command line. So here's the X86400 native tool tools. Got him running. Now we'll CD into the uh, RT Tools folder. and make a build directory. Go into the build directory. And then now we run CMake with a minus minus help to pick the right options. And what you need to do is you need to go up here and select the Visual Studio 16 for 219. And so we'll go up here and uh, mark it. And then we'll go down here to uh, CMake minus G quote paste paste that in and then uh, we need the AX64 version so we want to do the 64 rather than the 86 version of the program and tell CMake to go and do it. Okay, and now we'll go in here with the uh, finder and we'll start up RT Audio. And then we'll do a build all and then we'll quit and then we'll go back and start it up again but this time as an administrator yes and we pick up RT audio and then we do and install. And there it did the install of RT Audio. And so in RT Audio is all installed except you'll notice that it, it installed it in the x86 for location instead of the x64 version. But it is the x64 version of the program and so you can use it from there. And so that's the basic install of uh, RT Audio on uh, Windows.